There is no lightning bolt. You know why? That's because the furnace is out again. So we have to go and relight that. Kill the guard meeting, relight that, and then make our way back up here to cast the lightning bolt. Which is what we're going to do, because that's what you're supposed to do. I know, I don't always do what you're supposed to do. So I'm going to tell you the other two ways that you can do this. Right now it's firing these two. We could just cast a lightning bolt or a fireball on this, on the crystal, and it would open the portal for us automatically. Or, the other way we could do this is use the Newman Staff and fire the triple fireball, which is pretty much hitting it through with three spells in quick succession, which will also activate it without even having to mess with any of these reflectors or anything. So first, but first we're going to go and get the Onyx key back. So we can uh, get in this room a lot easier. So we're going to need the Skull Key. And we need to go back down here. Alright, while we're, while we're here, we're going to go and relight the uh, furnace. There we go. Rockies are throwing crap at me. They should be throwing them in the furnace. Good job, guys. Maybe you should do your job. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. There we go. They just threw it in. Stop throwing crap at me, guys. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, and we also need to go and turn on the boiler here. Aha. That. Go up here. We're going to block off this pathway with one of those. Do that. And now we're going to go put the skull key back and get our new one. Or, and get the Angus key back so we can open the path. Oops. We're going to move that back onto the ladder so we don't get... We're going to have to deal with another attack minion here. The obligatory attack, attack minion. As you can see, it's running. We're fully... Ready. Oh! There is no attack minion. Ha! Okay, never mind. Alright. Get another... Acceleration spell already. Switch again. Alright. Put the skull key back. Take the no, take the onyx key. Okay. We got your we got the onyx key. We'll go put this back in. And we're gonna go turn on the lightning bolt, and that's it. You may or may not have heard the portal open there. Okay, so now that it's open, we can go and shut all this useless crap off. So we can actually get to it without dying. And behold, the portal to Dragoth. And the first thing we're going to do before anything else... Oops. I'm going to move that back, actually. Is we're going to move these reflectors to give us a slight advantage. Move this forward. And... Oh, the head's getting worn down here. Turn on this, and we're going to fire an endless stream of fireballs into the portal. And this will keep pretty much all of Dragoth's attack minions away from us. Which is, like, really good, so... Um, then we're going to do a quick rest. Uh. Okay. And that's pretty much all there is to it. This is the final, uh... We're going to go that way to get to Dragoth. Oh yeah, I, I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video. As you noticed, while the uh, cameras were off, I went and equipped, a, equipped the entire team with some new armors and equipment. So we're pretty much set there. Note that you have to buy the tech armor. You know, the tech plate, the tech polyons, tech helm, tech boots. Because... I've actually discovered a slight difference between the old Amiga version and the PC version of this game. 
and the Amiga version, actually, you could find the tech armor in the castle, but unfortunately that was taken out in the PC version. The In the Amiga version, when you went to go fight the Imp, and this is actually why it gave the going and fighting the Imp some purpose, is instead of a maze of like reflectors that fire, and he'd go around pressing fire switches to turn on fireballs, it was just like a maze, it was, you know, a maze with a bunch of, he p would go around pressing buttons that would open and close walls, which is kind of like a labyrinth, and he just was a major pain. Um, and in the old version, there was just tech armor lying around in his area. In the new version, for whatever reason, it's not, they took it out, and it's a reflector maze instead. So, yeah. So we had to go and buy the tech armor. Uh, the tech armor is actually really good too, especially for say a mage like Saros. The tech helm increases his wisdom by 15. Right? Uh, he's got a wisdom of 80 right there. So, yeah. Um, oh, and right there, the anti magic um, from the tech plate. So yeah, and then of course. Het has lots and lots of anti f magic and anti-fire thanks to the uh, fire plate that I've equipped her with. So, anyway, oh yeah, and then this is just a really minor place that we're not going to want to deal with too much because it's just the roof of the castle and all that's up there is archer guards and you never actually have to f you never have to go up here for any reason. There's an archer guard portal that you can close and it'll just stop stop them from coming through, but otherwise there's really no point. I'll give you a, I'll go up there and let you see it. I missed. Oh well, I'm not going to uh, stick around here. Ugh. And as you can see, it's just not worth it to go up there. All that's up there is a portal. You could, I mean, you could go up there and uh, steal these Slayer arrows if you wanted, if you're going to use ninja skills in the game. But otherwise, there's no absolutely no point to go up there, and so it's kind of worthless. Everything else in this area is just kind of blank or big empty space, so there's really no point to wander around in here anymore. There's nothing. That's the room with the reflectors. And this just comes to a dead dead end. So yeah. Um, otherwise, you can go ahead back to the uh, pad and teleport back, prepare yourself, whatever. But otherwise, there isn't much to do. All that's left for us to do is go and fight Dragoth. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna end the current. I'm going to end the camera here. And when we come back, we will be we will go and fight Dragoth. So, see you later.